video series of mathematics class 9 dear students in this video we are going to learn the fifth chapter of maths first that is linear equations in two variables dear students in the previous class we learned how to solve the linear equation in one variable okay so let's recall it by solving some examples okay so here i have written some equations so let's solve it so here to solve the equations means here we have to find out the value of the variable okay so here we have the first equation a plus c is equal to 5 okay so the equation in this equation a plus c it means that what we have to add in the 3 so that we we'll get the answer 5 okay so we consider here that we have number as n okay so to get the value of this n let's bring the constant terms together so here n is equal to 5 let's transfer this 3 to the rhs right hand side okay so here it is positive plus so it will be minus so dear students while solving the equations when we are transferring any number from left hand side to the right hand side or from rhs to lhs we have to do its opposite operations okay so here it is plus so it will be minus therefore n is equal to 5 minus 3 that is 2 okay and we are knowing that 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 okay let's take another example 3 by plus 8 is equal to 20 so here 3 y is equal to here we will bring the constant terms together so this plus 8 is plus it will be minus it will transfer it to the rhs therefore 3 y is equal to 22 minus 8 that is 14 okay therefore here we want to find out the value of y okay only y along with this y there is coefficient So this three is multiplying to one. So we have to divide. It will divide. Okay. So here the value of one is fourteen upon three. Next, x upon three is equal to two. Now here this constant term three. So here it is. Oh, sorry, not constant term. So here denominator three is a denominator. Means it is dividing to x. So when we transfer it to the RHS, it will multiply. Okay. So here, two into three. That is x is equal to six. Okay. So value of x is six. And we are going to six upon three. Six divided by three is equal to two. Okay. Now this equation, two p plus sorry, two p is equal to p plus four upon nine. Dear students, here we have the variable on both sides. Okay, so let's bring them together. So here, two p. This p is positive, so it will be negative as it will transfer into the left hand side. Then it will be the minus four upon nine. Two p minus one p, that is p, is equal to four upon nine. Okay, so here the value of p is four upon nine. Okay, so these are the equations in one variable. Okay, let's solve two more examples. Now here we have a question: Which number should be added to five to obtain forty? Okay, now after this we were given with the equation. Now here it is given in the form of word. Okay, so let's arrange the equation. Which number should be added to five? So which number? So let's which number is box plus five? Okay, to get the forty. Okay, let's consider the number as x. So x plus five is equal to forty. Okay, therefore x is equal to forty. Now this five is plus, so it will be minus. Therefore x is equal to 9 so here the value of x is 9 okay similarly in this question which number should be subtracted from 8 to obtain 2 okay so let's write down which number should be subtracted from 8 so from this 
here we can get the number of solutions okay so here 10 minus 8 is equal to 2 where x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 8 similarly 9 minus 7 2 x is 9 y is 7 8 minus 6 is equal to 2 x 8 y 6 then negative 3 minus negative 5 okay is equal to 2 value of x is negative 3 value of y is negative 5 okay then 5.3 minus 3.3 3 is equal to 2 value of x is 5.3 value of y is 3.3 3. then 15 minus 13 is equal to 2 x is equal to 15 y is equal to 30 okay Like 10 and 8, x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 8. Here we cannot take the x as 8. Okay, so if we take 8 minus 10, so here this value, this value does not satisfy the given condition. Okay, so dear students, it's very important to write the, the pair of the numbers in a order. It's very important to write the numbers in the order. Here the first number that is which is indicating the x. Okay. So that should be the proper number. So here we have to take the x as 10 only. If we we'll write it as the 8 and 10. If we we'll write this pair in this way in the order 8 and 10 then it will be it will be wrong because here it will be considered as x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 10 which it does not satisfy the given condition okay so by writing the this pair of this number it is very important to write them in a proper order okay so first number is the value of x and second number is the value of y so here we can write it in the order pair like now here this, this one will be 10 and 8. Okay. Then this order will be order pair will be 9 and 7, 8 and 6, then negative 3 and negative 5, then 5.3 5 and 3.3, 3, then 15 and 30. Okay. So these are the ordered pair which can satisfy the given condition. Dear students, we solve the two equations. Okay. Our first question was the final two numbers whose sum is 14. Okay. And second question was there. Find the two numbers such that the difference between them is 2. Okay. And we had find out the number of solutions for both these equations. Now for this first equation, the solutions are 9, 5, 7, 7, 8, 6, 4, 10, then 10, 4 and many more. Similarly, for the second equation also, we had find out the number of solution. Okay? If you will observe the solutions for both these equations, you will find that this solution, the solution in your order pair 8 and 6, you will find this solution in both the equations. Okay? It means that this solution, this solution is satisfying both this condition. Okay? So here, value of x is equal to 8 and value of y is equal to 6. When we consider the x as 8 and y as 6, so these values will satisfy is for these conditions. Okay? So, this is the unique solution for this both equations. Okay? So, dear students, when we are considering the, at the same time, we are considering two equations in two variables, then those equations are called simultaneous equations. Okay? So, here, we are considering these two equations at the same time. 
okay and both these equations have the common solution that is a in order pair a and 6 so we can say that these are the simultaneous equations now let's see the general form of the linear equation in two variable okay so here general form of linear equation in two variables is x plus b1 plus c is equal to 0 where this a b and c a b and c these are the real numbers and a and b a and b are non zero at the same time it means that this a and b should not be zero at the same time then we can say that the equation in a two variable okay two variables now we have students here the index of the variable x is 1 and for the variable y is also 1 that's why this is the linear equation okay and as two variables are there so we can call it as a linear equation in two variable and this is the general form of the linear equation in two variable dear students in this video we learn what is meant by linear equation in two variables okay then what is meant by simultaneous equations okay and how to write the linear equation in two variables in a general form i hope all these things are clear to you